Hi, I'm Christina. I'm Twinkle. And I'm Leslie. And we're going to take you through a bit of our lives in the Explore program at Microsoft. Hey guys, I'm Leslie and I'm a second year engineering student at the University of Waterloo and an Explore intern here at Microsoft. And I hope you're ready to follow me through a typical day at work. Hey guys, so I just woke up and it's about 7.30 in the morning. So I'm just gonna quickly get ready and then I'm gonna head over to main campus today, which will be super fun. All right, so we just left the hotel and now we're walking to work. The weather is super nice today. So far, it's been like 20 to 25 degrees. So perfect t-shirt weather and it hasn't rained yet, which is like really surprising. Which cap are we in? We are in building 80. We're in 50, We're, it says right there. <laughs> Where are we going? A tree house. <laughs> it's a legitimate tree. I mean, <laughs> it's a legitimate house. In the trees. We got lunch at Cafe 50 that you saw, and now we came to Building 83, which has a really good calf, we've heard, and we found these tables, and we're just gonna work for a couple hours before our next meeting, and... Oh, actually, we're gonna get ice cream first. <laughs> every Tuesday, every calf has ice cream for 75 cents a scoop, so... We're gonna do that and then we're gonna have our meeting and then we're gonna probably work some more. It's great that we get to work anywhere on main campus, so we have the chance to explore the hundreds of buildings and cafeterias here at HQ. From the official Microsoft store to beautiful buildings and architecture to just really cool rooms, there's pretty much an endless number of spaces to explore. All right, see you guys. Good night. All right, so now I'm gonna take you guys through a bit of my life at work and also go over some of the benefits that Microsoft offers their interns. Right, first day of my second week of work, and I think this week I'm gonna focus on um, more onboarding onto my team, and then we're gonna get introduced to what our project is for the term, and we're still continuing to learn uh, what our team does because our team does a lot, so that's the plan for this week. So this is something that I'd wear on an average day. Our office is pretty casual, so you can kind of wear whatever you want. So the way that Microsoft does housing for interns is that you get the choice between a $9,500 housing stipend or corporate housing, where they might put you in a hotel or apartment or university residence. Um, so I chose to do corporate housing just because I'm not from the area and uh, it's a big adjustment period, so it's a lot easier to have a place um, here for you when you land. The walk to work from my hotel is about 20 minutes, but we also have the choice of taking a work shuttle. So this is my office, and like all other Explore interns, I work in a pod with two other explorers. This is Cynthia and Steve. They're also at Waterloo for engineering. Microsoft also provides us with tons of drinks and a lot of cool places to eat lunch. Now I'm going to talk about a few of the benefits that Microsoft gives to their interns. For starters, Microsoft provides us with a health benefit that you can use to join a gym. Most people join Pro Club, a really nice facility that's close to campus and is usually full of full-times and interns in the summer. It has everything you need and some of the nicest change rooms I've ever seen. As for professional development, Microsoft hosts some internal events called Outside Inns where they'll bring in influential people to do a fireside chat for all of the employees. We got to see one with Melinda Gates and Satya Nadella and another one with Adam Savage. And as for philanthropy, Microsoft will match employee donations to valid charities and donate $25 for every hour that employees volunteer. Hey guys, my name is Twinkle. I'm also in Systems Design Engineering and also here as an Explore intern at Microsoft. I'm so excited to be taking you through a day in the life of me. And yeah, let's get started.
Hey guys, so it's currently 7.30 in the morning and I'm gonna go get ready, have some breakfast, and pack my lunch. So here we go. So I'm ready, still have not packed my lunch or had breakfast, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I have this badge on, basically my badge to get into work to any building on campus. Um, and then I also have my bus card because I take the public transit. And so I'm pretty late for the bus, so I'm gonna pretty much run and try to catch it. Bye. There's lots of ways to get to work in the mornings, one of which is public transit, and for me that's pretty convenient since the bus stop is right outside my hotel. Since I work off campus in a building called Advanta, I need to take a corporate shuttle to the building from main campus. Corporate shuttles to popular destinations typically run every 10 minutes in the morning and in the evening, which is pretty convenient. Fun fact, Redmond has a lot of Teslas, so this is how many I counted on my way to work in the morning. So at work, I work in a pod of three with Leslie and Lily, and we like to work in different places around campus and around the office for a change in scenery. At lunch, we either sit outside in the beautiful outdoor cafes or inside with our team. So I'm here with Leslie and we just got off work. Road work ahead. I sure hope it does. Another, Another one. one. <laughs> So depending on where you live, uh, sometimes you can take a shuttle home. On the app, you can like on-demand request shuttles. So I requested one from Building 83 to Millennium, which is a building close by to where I live, and then I'm gonna walk. Okay, so the first question is, why are you an Explore intern at Microsoft? Cool, okay, I can start. So I think I came into university expecting to go into a technical path, so like software engineering and software development, and that is what I did for my first few co-ops, but then this co-op I just wanted to explore like product design and product management a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, for me, like my first two co-ops, like my first one was QA, my second one was design, and I've never really had any experience in like PM or dev, and I think like this was the perfect opportunity since the program kind of incorporates a bit of both. Um, yeah, I think like mine is kind of similar because like the past two co-ops I've done like a little bit of PM, a little bit of design and this is like kind of encompassing it all and also my past two co-ops um, I was given like a lot of freedom and I wanted something that mirrored that as well uh, for this co-op. So. Okay, so the next question is what was the most difficult part of your week? <laughs> oh. Okay, well, <laughs> for me, I think like um, what was most stressful coming into this was just like the volume of information that you're kind of hit with as soon as you come in. So especially because we're doing a job that's dev heavy, um, there's a lot of code that we have to go through, a lot of new technologies we have to learn, and it can be like really overwhelming all sure. at once, especially just even just being in a new location, new city, exactly. new um, routine, It's mm -hmm. it can be really, it's a big adjustment. And like gaining context as well, like being thrown into a project and being yeah. like, well, I don't know what these acronyms mean. Or like, yeah, I have no sure. idea. Especially at Microsoft because their platforms are huge, right? Yeah. Like all of their products have so yeah. much to it. It's so hard to just like pick up and have to start from somewhere. Yeah, yeah. for sure. But yeah, like more like what Christina said, just getting into routine. So for me, it's our second week, but in our first week, I felt very isolated. I think it was my first, it is my first time staying like really, really far away from family for so long. And so just getting used to like a routine and living somewhere that they live in the same place and I live like a little bit further. So it was like a little hard just like knowing that there's no one else close by that you can just like go to for a bit, for a while, but like. It's better now. It is better now. No, that's true. And like we made a lot of other friends yeah. and interns and managers. So. Yeah, that's good. Uh, for me, I think it was like breaking my expectations. So coming in, I had like very clear expectations on what. Um, I thought I would expect so I thought it was gonna be like a very structured program and I mean it is but I thought that everybody's experience was gonna be the same like everyone that worked at, worked at Microsoft was gonna have the exact same experience mm -hmm. and for me it was just realizing that it differs like so drastically based on what team you're put in and yeah. despite the fact that it's a huge company and it's great um, it's still like your internship is still what you make it so yeah there's no guarantee that you're gonna have an amazing time unless you put that effort into it exactly. so. Um, next question is, what was your favorite part of the week? Ooh. <laughs> There's just too many. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, I'd say my favorite was actually today we got to go to um, an outside in talk, which is kind of something that my it's something that Microsoft puts on for their employees. So today it was Melinda Gates and Satya Nadella, who is the CEO of the company, and they were basically talking about um, her book that she just wrote and just like empowering um, people and like women in the workplace. And it was a really cool talk. It was really amazing. Really, really I was gonna cry like three times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was amazing. Um, for me, yeah, the events are amazing. Like they have, they put a lot of effort into giving like quality, high quality events. Um, I think the spaces here are beautiful. Leslie and I work not on HQ, not on campus, a little bit further, sadly, but we've come in and work remotely, which is really nice. And every time we've come and work remotely, we've explored a new building, yeah. thanks to recommendations. And oh my gosh, like the spaces are beautiful. There's like yeah. music rooms, there's tree houses, there's like such cool buildings like this one. Like there's so much to explore here, so. Yeah, mine is like, like the same thing pretty much. Like everywhere you look, there's something new. Um, yeah, like there's over 200 buildings on campus. There's like 100 caps on campus. Today we were working in a tree house. Like there's a tree house on campus. <laughs> so cool. It's insane. Yeah. And like walking here today to film this, we passed like an Xbox room and we we're like, excuse oh, me? Yeah. Room. And there was like a huge life-size figurine of some dude in armor and we were like, oh my <laughs> god. It's literally Halo. I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Halo. Yeah. I wouldn't know. <laughs> anyway, like we were like everywhere you look, there's something new. So that's like so cool. It makes everything so exciting working yeah. here, which is really great. And that's all we have for our work here at Microsoft. Now here's some of the fun stuff we've done while we're here. We're here. Ah, we're at Building 92. Thanks for watching and make sure you guys stay tuned for next week's video. And be sure to share this video with anyone who might be interested and reach out to us with any questions or suggestions for future content. Bye! Bye.